What up guys? Today is day... Wait, what up guys? Today is day 33 and it is uh, the start of trip 4. So it's day 1 of trip 4 and today we are heading to Nagano Station. We're going to hit up Ishikawa, then Toyama, then Nagano, then uh, Yamanashi. So it's going to be a great time and uh, once again it's the Oligo 47 where I'll be traveling to 047 Prefecture so stay up to date because I'll be vlogging every day. And um, if you guys didn't know, Oligo is a travel website that introduces all you know Japanese culture, information, everything that you need to know if you're coming to Japan. So definitely check out the website. It, uh, it's in the about section down below. And uh, for this trip we have Kim again. Yeah, Kim. Kim looks so happy. And then we have Angela again. And then a new person. Bye. So Moe is a chill girl, she's a dancer, right? Yeah. So she's gonna show you your moves in this trip. Maybe. Follow. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the vlog. We made it to Nagano to pick up our car. If you guys didn't know, the uh, Winter Olympics in 1998 were at Nagano, so. Yeah, awesomeness! Today we picked up the car from Nagano Station and we're heading to Ishikawa Prefecture. We're going to Kaga Onsen today and it should be really, really awesome. The onsen area is supposed to be really, really big, so that's very, very cool. And today we have a new person on this trip, so I forgot to introduce her correctly. So this is Moe. Hi! So Moe, go ahead and introduce yourself. Who is Moe? Okay, hi, I'm Moe. Where are you from? I'm from Japan actually. And uh, what are your hobbies? My hobbies, I love dancing, I love singing, I love I love cooking. Really? Cooking. What can you cook? What's your, what's your specialty? Oh, you like spare ribs. Spare ribs? Spare oh, ribs. Wow. Days. Cook for us. And you like Days. cleaning? What? And you like cleaning? I love cleaning. Wow. <laughs> I'm an Wife, wife from my Yeah, Mario. thanks. Alrighty, so Moe is going to be joining us on trip four. You're probably going to see a lot of dancing with Kim and Moe because oh. Kim likes to shake her booty. Oh, yeah. So does Moe, so uh, yeah. Now watch me whip, now watch me nae nae. Okay. Now watch me whip, whip, watch me nae nae. Okay. Now watch me whip, now watch me nae nae. Okay. Now watch me whip, whip, watch me nae nae. Okay. Now watch me whip, now watch me nae nae. Now watch me whip, whip, watch me nae nae Now watch me whip, now watch me nae nae Now watch me whip, whip, watch me nae nae Now watch me, watch me What up guys? Reppin' Odigo by the way And got nice sakura leaves because uh, um, it's sakura season And right now we are in Kaga Onsen and uh, it's one of the major onsen spots here in Ishikawa Prefecture and there's actually four main areas to go to. The first one is called Yamanaka Onsen. Another is called Yamashiro Onsen. That's where we are right now. There's also Katayamazu Onsen and Awazu Onsen. So these four are the main places you should go to. We chose Yamashiro Onsen because they're all pretty popular and famous but Yamashiro Onsen looks really like, I don't know, traditional. It looked kind of... Um, it looked very Japanese, you let's say. So that was really, uh, really cool. So we just finished the onsen or the hot spring, and um, it felt really good. I was separated from the three girls, obviously. So I was, I was kind of bored. It was just me sitting in a bathtub with a bunch of random dudes. But anyways, it felt really good. And actually, there's a lot of health benefits that come with this hot spring water. So Moe over here is going to help me explain. So what is, what are some of the benefits for the water on the mm -hmm. skin? Okay, so some of the benefits are, okay, one, it's really good for your bruises, if you have bruises anywhere in your body, it's good for your fatigue, if you feel tired, it's really good for, um, like, sore muscle, if you, like, worked out really hard and you feel, like, really sore, and it's also drinkable, so if you drink it, it's really good, um, it's supposed to be really good for, um, diabetes or stuff like that. It's also good for your skin. It's supposed to make your skin really smooth. Most hot springs you can are mm. good for your skin, right? Yes. And bruises and fatigue. Yeah. But this one's kind of special because you can drink it, right? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's kind of, which is really weird because actually mm. in this hot spring, you don't wash your body before you enter. Oh, yeah. So normally you, t you, you, you bathe yourself with like a shampoo mm -hmm. and, and body, body soap. They don't have a shower. But yeah, they, they don't have anything here. So literally mm. just you rinse with um, the hot spring water mm. and then you, you go in. So you can drink that water, which is uh, very surprising. I wish I knew that because I would have drank the whole hot spring, I don't really care. <laughs> Maybe you won't drink it out of the hot spring, but 
you probably can I don't know they probably like Drink. sell it or somewhere <laughs> <laughs> yeah they have it somewhere already maybe so it's like it. fresh alpine water maybe yeah <laughs> so yeah um, we're about to go ahead and maybe get some uh, onsen tamago which is uh, I guess egg boiled in hot spring water or hot spring steam or steam so mm -hmm. those should be really good and uh, I guess I'll show you guys what that looks like so Kim over here got um, green tea with a uh, with a boiled egg. Onsen tamago. Onsen tamago. Hot spring egg. Yeah. Is that literally translates hot spring egg? Yeah, it literally does. <laughs> I mean, it's not fresh. So it's basically an egg that's yeah. that's boiled in hot spring water, yeah. right? It's like really soft. It's not like like. I mean, yeah, it's boiled. It's not boiled to the point where it's hard boiled. Oh, okay, okay. It's like a um, it's like a um, poached egg. Poached egg. Okay. Poached egg. And then and then the brown stuff is brown, as brown sugar, so um, should be really sweet. So go ahead. How does it taste? Mm. Let me mix it up first. Wait, yeah. Let me see that. Let me see that. So it looks kind of gross, but let's try. How is it? Does it go well? Eggs and eggs and ice cream. Yeah, actually. Eggs and ice cream. Yeah, actually, yeah. For the win. That's really good. That's nice. Yeah, that's actually really good. <laughs> do you actually taste the egg? Mm. You do? Mm. Nice. But um, I don't know. I love eggs though, so maybe I'm biased, but I like it. So I got vanilla ice cream and the same egg that Kim got. So um, I'm gonna try the same thing, but with vanilla ice cream. All right, so let's try the egg and ice cream combination. Oh, it's good. It's good, man. It's again. Actually, you know what? When I used to make milkshakes um, back when I was like playing a bunch of sports, I used to always put raw eggs in my milkshake with like okay. vanilla, vanilla, vanilla powder. So it actually tastes like that, actually. So I'm actually used to this taste. Actually, yeah. in Vietnam, um, there's this drink that's like, they mix it with orange juice and stuff, and it's really good, sweet. And they put in a raw egg inside it as well. And it's so hard to hold it. It's good. Mm. This is really solid, actually. I'm actually a big fan of this. No, I might I do this it. It's ever. actually pretty nice. Mm. This is hard. So my suggestion is eat eggs with ice cream. Pretty good. Eat your hot spring egg with ice cream. So we made it to Kanazawa Station. Um, and we just finished the onsen, and onsen was great. Kanazawa Station seems really cool. A lot of uh, there's a good balance between a lot of things. Um, so I'm actually really enjoying myself right now. All right, guys. So that is going to be the end of the vlog. Um, once again, this was day 33, or day one of trip four. So this is the start of another adventure with. <laughs> The cool ladies. Yeah. And Kim. And Kim. And Kim. Kim, Kim is uh, Kim is in her room. Uh, she had some work to do. So um, we will see Kim tomorrow, though. So uh, yeah. stay tuned tomorrow. And yeah. once again, this is Odigo 47. We'll be traveling to all 47 prefectures and vlogging every day. So please stay up to date. And uh, yeah. So if you guys don't know, Odigo is a travel website that has offers um, all of the exclusive local, you know, uh, Japanese information. So if you're coming to Japan or have any interest in Japan, check it out. The link is down below in this about section. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Let's go Bye. To